Here is the story of one man's journey from tragedy to triumph. On the football field, Yanni Corey was a giant. Number 96, six foot four, 290 pounds. A star defensive tackle at Georgetown University. Off the field, Yanni Corey was a rock. Friends nicknamed him the general because he just took charge. After college, despite calls to play in the NFL, he followed his passion for adventure and the outdoors. He moved to California, got a good job, and fell in love. On August 5th, 2006, Yanni spent the morning playing volleyball with friends and ran down to the ocean for a swim. He dove into the waves, but hit a sandbar and broke his neck. Instantly, I could tell I was paralyzed. I was just floating in the water and I got flipped over on my back and uh, there's, you know, waves crashing over me. I thought this could be it. Fortunately, an off-duty EMT walking down the beach saw what happened, ran out and pulled Yanni ashore. His girlfriend Susan was on the beach and rushed with him in an ambulance to the hospital. I just remember a, um, a female doctor coming out and saying to me, um, just so you know, he's never going to walk again. It was devastating. It was, it was devastating. After surgery, a bout of pneumonia, and two months in intensive care, his health returned. The reality settled in. How am I going to live my life moving forward? All these things that I would planned, um, you know, am I ever going to be able to do them? You're kind of left there wondering. Just tell yourself, I'm going to get myself out of this situation. One way or another, I'm going to get myself out of this. Then they found Dr. Susie Harkema at the Fraser Institute in Louisville, Kentucky. She said to me, um, there's hope. And she was the first person throughout this whole process that said that to me. Susan quit her job and they moved to Louisville to work with Dr. Harkema, who developed a radical new therapy known as locomotor training. Christopher Reeve was among her first test subjects. The spinal cord is very sophisticated. It can process uh, complex information, it can make decisions, remember, forget. So what the therapy does is reteach the spinal cord how to control motor functions like walking through repetitive motion. After 15 years of experimentation, the therapy has now helped hundreds of spinal cord injury victims to be healthier and some to even walk. And after three months of the training, Yanni's first milestone. He said, Yanni, he's like, you just moved your toe. And I said, what are you talking about? I looked down at my toe and uh, I saw it wiggling and it was uh, an incredible, incredible moment. He gets on the phone, he's crying and he's like, guess what I did today? I'm like, what did you do? And he said, I wiggled my toe and I just lost it. And I said, you know what? I have a chance here. So the couple turned tragedy into a future together. First, they got married. Then with the help of family, friends, Dr. Harkema and the Reef Foundation, they raised the needed funds to start Next Step Fitness, an affordable not-for-profit rehab center in Los Angeles, where not only Yanni, but anyone in the community could get locomotor training. They took Yanni's spinal cord injury, which could have stopped both of them in their tracks completely, and they turned it around and they have done something so remarkably creative and gutsy, really, in a way. The only thing bigger than Yanni's drive, determination, and stubbornness, his friends say, is his heart. And you can see what they mean. Three years after the accident, an incredible moment. These are the first steps Yanni has taken three years after being told he would never walk again. Eventually, you know, I'm getting rid of that walker and, you know, walking out of that gym. And, uh, you know, I'm confident that I'm going to do it and understand it's not going to happen tomorrow, but it will happen one day. Chris would probably say, I knew he could do it. To the rest of us, he would say, now figure out how to get 150 more Next Step Fitnesses all over the country. The only sadness I have about Yanni's story is that Chris and Dana aren't here to see it because they would have been thrilled. You hear it all the time, you put your mind to it and you can make anything happen, but uh, you know, it's true that if uh, you stay focused and um, motivated 
and uh, work at it every single day. You really can accomplish uh, you know, whatever it is that you set your mind to. You heard the man, you can accomplish anything you set out to do. And in his appreciation, he has such a big heart, this man, and in his appreciation to so many others, including Chris and Dana Reeve Foundation, he has started his own organization, as you know, and it's Step Next Step. He really wants to help people take that next step. And for more about Next Step and local motor training, you can go to our website, abcnews.com.